Platinum Games is aiming for more nostalgia feels of the half-shell variety, and Doom goes into alpha testing. We might get to roll things up again with a new Katamari, and Capcom's bringing Onimusha back. You're watching Turn Base with game news that matters to us as well as this week's loot list. I'm Tamtu. And I'm Danica. Kawabunga! According to Gamatsu and the Australian Classification Board, a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game is underway. Planned for PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One, the Platinum Game title appears to be a follow-up cooperation between the studio and Activision after Transformers Devastation. No official word from Activision yet, nor is it known if it ties into any current shows or movies, or if it's a standalone title. If we know more, you'll know more. This week, Bethesda's new Doom entry will go into closed alpha. Testers will be able to mess around in the multiplayer options aimed to stress test the game's dedicated servers. It's not at all related to the promised beta access that was included in Wolfenstein The New Order, but it's the first bit of news we've heard from Bethesda since this summer, now that the Fallout 4 hype train has passed our station. What's this? Ah. Coming up this month at Zoom and Games is our Game of the Year content, and besides our upcoming group discussions and Top 5 Game of the Year, we are also bringing back the Community Top 5 Game of the Year. Voting starts now and the link to the form is in the description below. You have until Sunday the 20th of December, midnight CET, to cast your vote. As soon as the clock hits 12am and it becomes Monday for us, we start gathering all this data and make the video of your Game of the Year. Back to more news about trademark filing, Namco Bandai has registered Tap My Katamari with the Office for Harmonization in the International Market. The last entry in the franchise was back in 2012 for PlayStation Vita titled Touch My Katamari, with the new name suggests that Tap My Katamari will be available on touchscreen devices, but also other platforms. Printed circuit boards for video game machines, coin-operated or non-coin-operated amusement machines, and handheld electronic games are what is mentioned in the trademark filing. Capcom is also bringing back one of their older franchises, no, not Mega Man Legends, but a new Onimusha. In what way or form is unclear, as this is only a trademark registration of the name. Capcom has also mentioned earlier in the year that they want to bring more HD remakes of their classic titles, but who knows? The PlayStation Experience and Jump Festa events are coming up soon, so perhaps we'll hear more about this then. And that's it for news that mattered to us today. Tell us what mattered to you in the comments below or in the app. And being a new month, it's time to check out what PlayStation and Xbox have to offer this month in the loot list. For Xbox games with gold, Microsoft brings the incredible adventures of Van Helsing all month to Xbox One and The Thief from the 16th till the 15th of January. Xbox 360 offerings are Castle Storm from the 1st till the 15th, followed by Sacred 3 for the remainder of the month. As a bonus, Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising is also available in the latter half of December. And as a reminder, all these 360 titles are also playable on Xbox One through backwards compatibility. PS Plus offers Gauntlet Slayer Edition and Chapter 1 of King's Quest titled A Night to Remember on PS4. Tim's signature game Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon and SSX on PlayStation 3. And for the PlayStation Vita, we've got Rocket Bird's Hard Boiled Chicken as well as Freedom Wars. This week's biggest releases are Just Cause 3 for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, and Rainbow Six Siege on Xbox One, PS4, and PC as well. Shivery Medieval Warfare makes its way to Xbox One and PS4, Dragon Quest Heroes is coming to PC, and after its PlayStation release last week, Darius Burst Chronicle Saviors also hits PC this week. And that's it for Turn Base. Let us know what you're playing this week in the comments, and again, don't forget to vote for your Game of the Year to make it in the Community Top 5. The poll will be up until Sunday the 20th, and links are in the description below. As always, follow us on social media and post your hashtag game news in the Zooming Games community app and let us know what game news matters to you. We'll be back on the next episode of Turn Based. I'm Tamju. And I'm Danica.